What's going on everybody, Tanner here, and today I'm bringing you guys my very first Call of Duty Infinite Warfare build. Now I know you guys are probably looking for a Destiny video in which I'm going to have a new build coming up tomorrow. It's going to be a build on Gunslingers, really unique one, interesting one, I really really like it. Um, I think you guys will enjoy it, but for now I told you guys I was going to throw up a variation of games throughout the year, so the first one I'm going to be doing is Call of Duty. Uh, I've always been a huge COD fan, if you go back and look at all my old videos, it was like Call of Duty, Halo, certain things like that. I'm really just a fan of uh, shooters in general, first person shooters, all type of them. So with this one, I figured I'd bring you guys a little bit of a build from the beta, what I was rocking. So uh, I threw a screenshot up on the screen, you guys could see the build that I was rocking, and uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first off, the soldier type I'm using, the rig if you will, is Warfighter. Now this is a rig that comes with the claw, which is a specialty gun that kind of spread shots uh, bullets. It's kind of, you can either aim down the sights and make the bullet spread tighter, or you can let the bullets just spread out in general, whatever you want to do. But it's a really good setup, I really like it. I like the Synaptic too, but he's a really good one, but I'm really a big fan of just this setup that we have going on here so uh, this is the build that i've decided to rock and let's go ahead and talk about it so first off we're rocking the fhr 40 and the variant is counterweight now this is a really good one because it comes with stability it's actually the first one you can acquire and it comes with stability which has reduced recoil and this stacks with foregrip this makes it so that this gun almost has zero recoil as you guys can see in the gameplay it's super super good it's nice and smooth it keeps down the sides you can't really still hit people from a long distance but hey it's a submachine gun. it's not designed for that it's designed for close quarters just kind of dropping people as fast as possible, and I really, really like it. When it stacks with the foregrip, it makes it super, super OP. So, first attachment that I threw on it, as you can see, is the reflex sight. I've always been a fan of the red dot reflex, you know, variants of sights. I like to be able to, you know, put that dot down a hallway, put it on a target, put it over a box, a head glitch, whatever it may be, and just kind of let it do the rest of the work for me. It's a really, really accurate sight. Uh, you know, sometimes I've been a fan of just keeping the iron sights. I feel like that sometimes is the better way to go, but at the same time, I really do like some type of sight on my weapon. Now, next up is the foregrip. Now, this is gonna stack with that stability. Now, vertical foregrip, that reduces recoil is what the definition of it is, and it's really, really good. This plus stability makes it so that this gun just barely moves. It doesn't kick at all, and it's really, really good. Uh, it makes the gun just stay on target, keeps it useful. After that, we have quick draw, which is a custom grip for fast aiming down the sights. I really, really like this too, because I like to be able to feel like I'm using a sub, you know, run down the hallway, slam on the brakes, pull it up, and just smash people. Normally, I'm a rusher. If you go back and look at all my old Call of Duty gameplays, I'm a rusher. But in this game, it doesn't really cater to rushers. Rushers don't really, they can't really succeed in this game. There's too many radar-like things, so you have to take it slow, slow it down, wait for people, trick them. Especially in this game mode that I'm playing, it's team deathmatch. It's all based on killing and dying. So if you're running around and dying, you're no use to your team. So it's better to just get as many kills as you can with as least many deaths as possible. I'm running no lethal right now. I actually decided to take away my secondary weapon and take away my lethal. So I don't have either of those. But for my tactical, I'm running what everybody else is running, which is super OP. Something I don't really enjoy in the game. But hey, you gotta run it if everybody else is. And that is personal radar, which is an activated sensor array that tracks enemy locations by heat sensors. Now this is really, really good because it's pretty much a UAV whenever you want. You can carry up to two of these. I'm only carrying one, but you can carry up to two if you'd like. It's really, really good, and especially since Ghost doesn't counter it. Ghost only counters you off the standard UAV. You have to run cold-blooded to stay off this one because it senses heat signatures. So it's a really, really good thing. Not a lot of people rock cold-blooded. So if you're running this perk, or this lethal, I should say, or tactical, really, it's going to allow you to just find people kind of whenever you want to. For my perk section, I'm rocking Recon, which is a mini-map shows a larger area. You gain a single radar sweep when a standard enemy UAV appears and another when it dies. This kind of allows you to just have random pings across your mini-maps at all times. Once again, constantly keeping people on your mini-maps. I don't know why they allowed you to have so many ways to keep people on the mini-maps. Maybe to increase the gunfights, to increase the speed, whatever it may be. But I do really like it. I think it was a decent perk to be running during the beta here. Everybody's, like I said, they're not rocking the perks that actually get countered by it. So I really enjoy it, and I think it's a good one to use. My second perk is actually still in perk one, and it's dexterity, which is reload and switch weapons faster. I really like this because, of course, I want to be able to reload, get back in the fight as fast as possible. Destiny and my gauntlets always have to have pulse rifle reloader or whatever the weapon I'm using. That way you can increase that reload speed because sometimes that can make the difference. You might be reloading, someone comes around the corner, and that's just time, enough time to kill you. So it makes Makes it super unenjoyable um, so I really enjoy using dexterity after that we have hardline which is gain bonus points for each kill up to eight kills so I think this only works up to eight anymore it doesn't work like it used to where it used to It'll go all the way up to a Moab or a Nuke, whatever the game was. Uh, and two assists will give you the same bonus. So every two assists is basically a kill, meaning that you can get like tons of assists and still get kill streaks. So I've always rocked Hardline. I really enjoy Hardline. I think it's a really good perk as long as there's not other like really good things in that line. Uh, cold Blooded is one in here though, so you have to choose. You want to use that Cold Blooded to stay off those personal radars, or do you want to get your kill streaks and things of that faster? So I really enjoy using Hardline, and I think it's your second best perk 
to use as of right now in the perk 2 section. For perk 3, I'm rocking Pinpoint, which outlines enemies when dealing or taking weapon damage. Once again, another way to get people on your mini-map. If people shoot you, they show up red. If, if you shoot them, they show up red. So it's really, really good. Uh, it is countered by Hardwired, though, but once again, not a lot of people are rocking Hardwired currently. So I really enjoy it, and I think it's the best thing you can do. So to sum it all up again, we're rocking the FHR 40 counterweight with the Reflex, 4 Grip, Quick Draw as well as the personal radar, recon, dexterity, hardline, and pinpoint. Now, I really like this setup, as you guys can see from the gameplay. I really enjoyed this setup because it allowed me to just kind of find people as much as I needed to on the map, keep people steadily using the map every time they would activate a radar or anything of that nature. The weapon itself is super stable. It's super accurate. It's super. It's really good for a sub. You don't typically get guns like this with subs. There's a few of them back in the day. We had like the MP7 and certain guns like that that really could stay on target. But this one, I feel like, may be one of the best submachine guns in the game. Now, don't get me wrong. I haven't used them all. I've only used, I think, three different subs. And and you know the starting one this one and like the vector and while the other two are really good as well this one really just took the cake for me so what do i think about call of duty infinite warfare so far well i'll tell you one thing i'm a little bit sad that it's not a standard call of duty i think everybody is however you know it's one of those things where you can adapt or you can die you know that whole concept so uh i really enjoy call of duty as a whole i enjoy this game i enjoy this franchise almost as much as i you know i'd say exactly the same as i enjoy destiny i really enjoy both of them so I think that, you know, the beta's pretty good. It's had its problems. We couldn't get on for hours and hours the first day. But, you know, whatever it may be, there's problems in every beta. And I think that this one so far has been fun. It's been enjoyable for, you know, take it for what it is. You know what I mean? So it's not, you know, the Call of Duty we dreamed of, but it's the Call of Duty we got. And it's the one that I think we should be happy with if you really say so in the end you know it, I, it makes it enjoyable you got to have the game be enjoyable so that's pretty much it for today like i said make sure you guys watch out for tomorrow's video i'm going to be having a destiny gunslinger build i uh, hope you guys enjoy the video i hope it helped out I hope you guys can find a way to get better at the game if you're struggling if you're having problems right now i do have some extra beta keys so if anybody made it this far and you're interested in getting a beta key feel free to let me know and i'll definitely drop you one in the description below so uh yeah hope you guys have a good day have a good night and w.